thrift related channel, art related channel, DIY related channel. I think we got a good mix of stuff going on there. Been watching a lot of YouTube this year, 2019. Don't know why, Netflix, Hulu, all that. Just feeling a little dished out. Been connecting with a lot of thrifting YouTubers and resellers. Just anything that seems real. Everyone that looks like they are successful on YouTube. The one thing that they all say is just start. So we are starting right now. So if any of you have been following me on social media for the last 12 years, you will notice that I am very motivated. Anything that keeps me and my brain just nice and calm. I'm a very creative individual. Creativity is kind of my nervous tick. Oh, I find that I get creative at times that get a little overwhelming. So start brainstorming that idea, getting on a familiar creative mindset that I've, I've just known for since I was 16. So that's what this channel is going to be about. Just kind of following the stuff that I've been up to, the projects that I'm going to be on. When one project ends, another project has already started, has overlapped. I get homies sending me pics of old flyers or shirts or photos or just like, man, so much shit that I've done over the last decade. It has been wild. Creativity is my nervous tick. Thrifting is a little bit of a nervous tick. Follow this. See some cool shit. And yeah, we're pretty much just here to document project after project after project. You might learn something. I might learn something from you. Very minimal haul videos over here. Very minimal trips to the thrift over here. I am not interested in burning spots, giving tips, and catching you out there. What I am interested in is showing off the stuff that I find in a manner that creates a customer and does not create a competitor, if that makes sense. So for this first video, we are going to follow a chain stitch project that I just got commissioned for by my friend Junior, who works at Vice Gallery. Junior has dropped off this awesome blank champion jersey. Size large. And yeah, we're gonna put like a, a nice type treatment logo right here that he gave me. So let me go show you guys my chain stitcher. Right back here's my chain stitch machine. It is a replica of a Singer. Um, a vintage Singer chain stitch machine. 1930s to 1950s, don't quote me on this. I'm still one year old in my chain stitch journey. Well, here's a patch that I made using the two different stitches. I really like that one. Only real OGs know where he's from. Here is a bigger patch, kind of, this was actually stitched off of a heavy metal cover. And then this is Sailor Moon's wand. So yeah, these are just three kind of randoms that I have sitting around here waiting to get put on a jacket or a sweater or something. Here's what everyone always asks. They're like, what program do you use, man? Okay, so a ch the chain stitcher is how embroidery was done before computers came around. So like the 1925 Yankees, if they even existed, you know, how did they get their jerseys done up? Or, you know, the bowling team, of the 1945 pin boys i don't freaking know but so anyway yeah like this machine this is an axis anyway it's it's controlled by this handle under the table and i basically drive it like a steering wheel and it tells the head where to go so like left i'm turning the handle left turning the handle right, putting it straight, 
left, right, straight, left, right. So yeah, you get the idea. So yeah, we're just gonna kind of go for a little drive. fuzzy moss stitch uh, kind of in the middle here so I'm gonna go back right now and do that let's see if I can get a couple a couple moss stitches in to show you guys it is tough to film and stitch with one hand is it doing it it is it is doing it I don't know if you can see it it's kind of you know, sticking out more. I'm literally stitching through the camera right now. This is tough. All right, so now we're going down the middle here. Holy moly. And we're gonna come back up. Holy shaky cam. That's what you call too much coffee. You guys see that fuzzy in the middle? Here's kind of one pass with the moss stitch. I'll probably go back again and be done with the yellow, but yeah, you can definitely see what happened. You know, the middle is uh, fuzzy, you know, resembles a collegiate patch, letterman patch. Um, that's kind of primarily what it was used for back in the day, along with just kind of adding that effect. All right, guys, good morning. Um, we are going to go down to the springs for several things. And we're gonna try to make a day out of it. <laughs> Laying in bed last night, flipping through garage sale stuff. I found a sale that just looked like looked like a good hit. No tease to be seen, but I did ask her if she had any vintage vintage T-shirts from the 80s or 90s, and she said, "Yeah." So. That's all she said, so now we're driving an hour to go see what yeah means. Pretty cool Adidas bags. I can't find a tag in this one. But this one's got the Made in Taiwan tag. Wow. Didn't see that one. Whoa, didn't see that one. Can't get better than push and pull. There might it when it works out. Isn't it great when shit works? All right, I'm gonna go hit the next spot, maybe pull over, show you guys a quick little, quick little flip through what we just found. So yeah, all these came from that garage sale. I just left the flea market. Taz knows, do you know? 
there, Jin's where you at. I'm a living legend. Okay. This one's tight. And, you know we ain't done yet. We're about to go. Hit, round, three. Switching it up, we've got the black, we're gonna do the border here on the goodness logo. Switching up the thread. Finished up with another step forward. We got both colors laid down. I'm about to cut it out of the felt. Before I do that though, I'm going to tie off each thread. Basically gonna needle it through the top here to the back and just kind of tie it down so it stays put. <laughs> Hey now, look at that. I tell you what. Ooh. Man, this turned out even better than I expected here. <laughs> it's like 11, 11 inches that way. I don't know if this camera's adding five pounds or whatnot, but yeah, add it to the jersey. Okay. We got our patch fixed on to the jersey. I would normally put some like adhesive down under it. You know, Junior wants it stitched on with the potential to possibly take it off and put it on something else. So we are going to oblige that. Calm down. Oh, Flory. All right. Look at how good. No pun intended. This is what Junior gave me as like a reference. And yeah, that's uh, what we did. So now we get to go give it to him. But first, we got to get some pretty shots. better place to drop the jersey off to than junior playing ball oh yeah dude this is fucking ill you like that yeah, hell yeah this is hell fucking now you gotta put it on and like dunk on him i don't want to get it all sweaty yeah, yeah. you gonna show it off on sunday yes, Boom. Sir. happy customer yes, sir. there we go 